Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Today's reading is going to be about what is going to come into your life that fulfills and changes your attitude, your perspective in a good way. Now, the reason that this came to my mind was, I'm just going to ring my bell really quick to clear the air. because I was just packing and doing so much, I just need to clear the air. Um, is noticing things. Today I was just in a store and it was like Marshalls or something like that and I had to get something for the trip and there was an extraordinarily long line. There was probably 30 to 40 people in line and only two checkout people and there was a woman in front of me and she was getting so agitated and she was trying to get other people around her agitated as well and I stepped in behind her and all of a sudden I thought because she was really starting to act berserk she was climbing the like intersection of the cashiers and the line and peeking over and just staring at the two people and complaining to them and starting to argue so when i came up behind her and she was started to complain to me and i was like well let's think of the poor employees they obviously don't have everybody they need right so then i tried this trick and i was like I had meditative mind music and chants on my phone. There was no music in the store and that was part of it. So I started to play that and slowly I let the volume creep up a little bit and it was nature and it was harps and it was so relaxing that everybody just calmed down and then they started to like look at their emails and relax and sway back and forth. It was crazy. And I kind of knew that it would have that effect because I was like, what is the first thing that's missing here? And I'm like, it's a soothing sound or environment right there's stark lights people feel pressed for time and it worked it was like a crazy kind of genie in a bottle moment and I started to laugh because I thought I was about to just like start saying stuff like comedic um, pressure reliefs because it was really getting crazy this lady was getting everybody worked up and right then I thought wow a mood is really contagious so if a really agitated butthole move can be contagious so can a nice calming one and why she was quiet and every time she looked at me I gave her this kind of look and I was like a whole foot taller than her she only came to my shoulder and I kind of like was staring her down because I was tired of her agitating everybody and she just kind of went into herself and chilled out but th this whole lesson was teaching me that we need to notice thing don't let life go by unnoticed life is made of moments full of beauty and magic waiting for us to notice right we can't let the distractions and busyness keep us from experiencing everything <coughs> one moment i need some water honestly as an empath I hate crowded areas where people are agitated i have to alleviate the agitation or i have to get the f out on my roller skates really fast it's like that Christmas anxiety in malls. No, thank you. I'm like, I'm gloriously going to rise from this line and flee it. <laughs> you know, this is about watching sunrises. Another crazy example, and then I'll stop my insane ramblings, is I went to drive my son in the bus stop. Guess who was blocking the road? And this is when we have no control. A fire truck and an ambulance. So obviously something major was going on. But they blocked the thoroughfare and the only way out of our street to get to the bus stop. Waited five minutes, waited 10 minutes, waited 15 minutes. His bus was obviously gone, which meant I was going to have to drive an hour to get to a school and back takes an hour and everybody on his school road is horrible and they they're impatient so i took a deep breath and i was like how about you know you try to make him feel better by being calm and just saying you know it's just something that you know we can make into an enjoyable situation and have a conversation and it ended up changing everything so notice notice your breathing notice where you're tense release breathe feel and notice everything it'll make a really big difference because we do affect everybody around us and when we can affect them in a positive way it's really beautiful okay so now we're going to begin oh excuse me I'm, I'm leaning over the cards with my head because i'm trying to get closer to oh what do you guys think of my i got my celtic stuff out for my hair and i got my hair pins and my hat pins all ready for england and i'm so so excited so yeah i was just putting this in my hair and i was all stoked but yesterday i noticed i was too far from the microphone so i've been leaning in so i'm gonna just lean back and move the microphone a little bit more okay so first is going to be sanctuary and number two is going to be past lives and number three is going to be possibility i love these unicorn cards so much i think they're so beautiful they just really make me happy i'm going to put these in the picture too i just I love them. I love Celtic and Viking 
hat pins, hair pins, everything makes me so happy and excited for the trip. And if you guys uh, are new to my channel, I am Melanie Williams and I'm going to Stonehenge to um, do some cool investigating and some earthing. And I'm also doing some rituals there and I'm bringing some crystals and I'm going to supercharge them. So all my links are down below and I have an Etsy store and I have the, the supercharged crystals in there that I'm bringing and they will be done in just over a week because I'm going on Tuesday. I'm so excited. It's very close to my mother's birthday. So very excited. Okay, so let's start with number one, which is sanctuary. Um, you know, really take time out from the world. Spend time alone. Meditate. Go on a retreat. I do this every morning. I have a quiet meditation. I go into the quietest room in the house. And I put on really beautiful meditative mind music. I breathe in. And then I tap into everything you know what i'm going to pull out later in the day i feel like i heard a speaker say this thing she cracks me up i think it's one of my favorite astrologists and she's hilarious and she's saying you know at any given time there can be chaos around us right but if we really tap into our resilience and our awareness of that we can ride that wild pony of chaos right above it where it doesn't touch us affect us other people can be wildly out of control arguing um just anxiety prone, ego ridden, and we can just be above that fray by going into our ego space and having instant forgiveness for people's behavior because every behavior is temporary and it comes from a thought and it's usually an anxious thought and that means they're not aware of what's going on right then. Most people that are anxious are not super aware of the present. They're anxious of the future. There's too much going on in their head. So in able to stay calm and with it, we need the sanctuary time to ground out, especially if we have something busy coming up. We are not tapping into other people people's energy. Hey, if people want to um, be super excited, if they want to be any mood they want to be, we don't have to be part of that if we don't want to, especially if it's frenzied and frenetic and crazy, right? Because this is a time of resilience and you never know when you're minutes away from anything, a breakthrough. You never know when you're one little project away from a promotion. You never know when you're one hour away from studying, from passing an exam. However, if you have this time in sanctuary meditation, you're closer to all of that because you're envisioning that usually in your meditation. You're calm. You're stopping that maddening merry-go-round of over choice. You know, it's like over frenzied choices, trying to, um, fear of missing out all of that. It just brings everything down and it doesn't compound any problems. It alleviates that, you know, we keep going and we keep trying and we have to realize that stuff is happening fast enough. We don't need results the second we're thinking of something. So let's see what energies are going to be affecting. We have North node energy and we have 12th house energy. Now this is where you're going to have stupendous results right away. Soul school. I feel like a lot of you guys probably are already feeling this lovely elevation in your um, spirituality. Like you're really interested into it. You really want to listen to readers that are going to help you have some of these ideas really materialize how to manifest how to use the law of attraction to be calm collective um, spiritually grounded experience life on every beautiful five sense threshold really touch taste feel everything feel the vibrancy the richness of life know the connectedness to others that's about present moment awareness um you know like today when i was in the store i was aware of everybody's mood and i was like everybody's about to wig the hell out and i'm like and I, I like to take control of a, like the energy of a room when I'm able in a very subtle way. And a lot of times it can be done through anything. You can hum. Music is huge with that sound. People are very, very receptive to that. So if you hear people going oh, and humming and hawing, that they're going to get agitated too. It's contagious. So yeah, if you play quiet, meditative music and they don't even really know what's going on, they think they're imagining it too because it's coming from your phone. Everybody chills the hell out. It's part of our journey where we're trying to have a really earth earthy grounded calm experience no more rat race no more rushing none of that it's our destiny north node is all about us really being permeated with love and being infused with elemental um air good thoughts for ourselves you know eating really good food making our self-development 
our priority, right? Our self-development, our calmness, all of that. And I love the 12th house because this is all about our subconscious mind. This is when we have compassion. We're chasing and thinking and living our dreams. We understand karma that when we um, give to others, there, of course, there's always abundance to go around. And oftentimes giving makes you feel better than even receiving, right? And it's healing because we're really aware of the beauty that's all around us and our potential for everything and our self-worth. And the only one who gets to decide what our worth is, is us. It doesn't come from a bank account, a number of friends we have. It doesn't come from what someone else says we're worth. When we understand this 12th house energy, we know it's us. We don't have guilt. We, you know, we don't have any of this stuff. It's all about spiritual development that says, I am creative, strong, and capable. I am beautiful, limitless, wonderful, inside and out, and someone who is worthy of great love. So you're going to make this connection in a really beautiful way, group one. And it's soothing, right? Isn't it to know that, that all, sometimes we're just chasing and having a tug of war with a ghost. I want this. I need this. We don't need so much stuff. We can't take it with us. It just, we are persuaded by way too much kind of, um, influential commercialism in in the world and we really don't need that what we need is calm peace of mind and a great cat like citrine who's sound asleep snoring right next to me he's so funny oh my gosh so let me remove these he's so funny you my little baby my bear okay let me straighten these out he's so sweet okay so now we are on oh so that's you guys if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you ever have questions about anything you see i can duplicate everything that i have if it's metal work so if you like any of these things and you like this doohickey this celtic knot in my hair um i can redo these and put them in the store in fact i might it's like i just love working with metal and iron and everything and all my links are down below if you need a private read or anything or if you want to um get your crystal go down there because it's limited i think there's only a few left and they're going to be supercharged right on the stonehenge ground i'm going to be filming it and um, i'm going to put it up on youtube it's going to be amazing so next we're on to past lives I love this. This is about releasing our past life karma and heaviness. This is about healing the past. So in our past lives, we often will repeat um, patterns over and over until the lesson is learned. And sometimes it takes centuries. It really does. We are creatures of habit. We do habitual things. So oftentimes from life to life, so the same people will be healers. I've always had this kind of gypsy um, in incarnate over and over because you know i remember traveling in like wagons and working with silver and working with jewelry and making jewelry and singing and reading cards for centuries i mean it's crazy and the more and more i think about it um that's why i'm so excited about going to stonehenge and it's like i have both nordic and celtic real um heritage and also past life experiences i remember when i read anything about bodicea and all of the the iceni tribes and all of that it's like i get the chills it's crazy it's just something that i know and you'll feel that too i feel like you're going to be going into a state where all of a sudden you know you're speaking to somebody and it brings it to life and you're like holy smokes so let's see what's going to what houses and areas are going to be affecting you beautiful so, so the sun right now this is your being this is essence energy self-awareness life force your spirit creativity honor real masculine energy individuality so you're going to need some time in solitude to really reconcile with where you want to go what you want to pursue because you're realizing there are some heavy aspects to your life you no longer need, right? There's some people, places, and things, and they just seem distractions, which one time they seemed to fulfill their purpose, but now they're distractions. And now, you know, they're more of a withdrawal from your energy than they are sustenance. You're ready to shine. I feel like a lot of you are stepping with this expansive, enthusiastic energy. A lot of you are stepping into the fame sector of your life. If you ever want to be publicly recognized, the next couple months is when it's going to happen. There's something happening crazy cosmically in your near future that has to do with substantial wealth, um, accolades. It's a very six of wands moment where, you know, you're writing that book. You're, you're just making that breakthrough and you're feeling like it's about time. You know, I've invested 
wasted so much time, effort, and focus. But what happens is it's like anything else. Our vibration has to go up. We're not in this ferocious race to the finish line, which is victory. And in a creative process, everything works through source through us to create these moments of magic and unbelievable coolness. Like sometimes, every once in a while, I'll go through one of my old videos and I rarely remember what I say while I'm channeling. And I'm like, wow, that sounds exactly, you know, like my grandmother, like my mom. And, and, and it is them, you know, coming through source through me and it's almost like that weird mind palace where you open a door and there's more information in there and that's what Jupiter's expansions about you know you feel like you have enough of everything so you want to be generous you want to give it's benevolence you there's no greed or avarice or malice in your heart because you're like what is the point why am I why would I try to hoard a treasure money food anything like that when I should always share it's a time of exploration too like I feel like a lot of you guys are going to go out and travel you're really like spreading the word your works all of that and you're realizing that internationally it's a larger stage so you're really psyched to do this and it's really going to pay off big so be optimistic that's a big part of it a lot of creatives go up and down it's a yo-yo i do this as well the majority of the time i can stay very positive but sometimes i have so I am inundated with so many ideas that I actually get disappointed that I can't implement them all. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's like as a jewelry maker, I only have so much time as well as, you know, this is my first love tarot and, and sharing information and, you know, positive remedies and all of that. And I do have, you know, a lot of wonderful individuals that count on me, you know, daily, weekly for support. Everybody's going through some mystical madness one way or another. You, and you guys feel it too, you know, the ups and downs of it. It's, 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 you know, it's almost like our 3D bodies are trying to develop at like a nuclear pace, like, and it, it, it's heavy. Sometimes it gives you like vertigo. It can give you all kinds of things, but you're, you're going to be able to handle stuff like a champ because you're realizing I am worthy of all of this. You know, it comes from being yourself and being proud of who you are. It comes from being someone that you can count on and someone that you love. And the numbers will all change with time, but that won't change who you are deep inside. Beautiful and limitless. Although the money, fame, success will come, you'll still be the same beautiful self. I love that. You know, like Sting, I'm getting that kind of energy. Like Sting, Bono, um, you know, Jim Carrey, like, hey, Sarah, Sarah, so what? So money and fame. And he even says, I wish everybody could be rich and famous so they can realize what really matters in life, right? And I mean, I've had super financial abundance and then, you know, not so much. And um, I found I was always the happiest when I was in that positive frame of mind and I had great self-worth and I was able to create, right? And that's how you're going to be feeling group two. I love that for you. So now we are on to number three, which is possibility. Raise your, raise your standards elevate your expectations. You know, you have so much potential on multiple stages of life. I feel creative, all kinds of stuff, family, friendships, that you're really going to elevate a lot of things. And part of that is you're realizing that you don't have to know what comes next. You don't have to have everything figured out right this second. You don't need to know your entire story. You're living a changing, growing, and soul ri you know, soul riding journey. It's unique, it's beautiful, and that's exactly what is a journey. It wouldn't be a journey if you knew everything that was coming next. It wouldn't be a journey if you knew how it would all turn out in the end. So be patient and you know, you're going to make an impact. You never really know the impact that you're having on those around you. And you never know how much your kindness turns someone's entire life around. How much someone needed that long hug or deep talk. So don't wait to be kind. Don't wait for somebody else to do it first. It's in your nature. And I feel like you have huge healing energy. So let's see the houses that are going to come into play. You have the 10th and 7th house, which is really great. So this is about career responsibilities, achievement, competence. Again, fame, notoriety. The last group I felt that coming to their expansive Jupiter was bringing in the lucky roll of the dice. Again, your reputation is going to soar. People are going to want what you're offering. If you are someone who is in the performing arts or you create something, the stage is now, the stage is set for massive success right now for you to really be elevated and start an empire. Like you're literally going to start a legacy and fame is going to be in the books for some of you. You're going to reach that level. Like you're writing that music, you're writing those books, you're going to get published amazing stuff if you're on youtube and doing other things all of a sudden you're going to have a big spike in numbers and people are going to want to connect with you what's happening is you you you're realizing your impact you're realizing your knowledge your strength your self-worth your resilience you are ready to stand out you know it's okay not to fit in you don't need to bend or break yourself to earn someone's acceptance right 
You don't need to spend all your time doing something you don't even like to earn other people's approval. So learn to be uniquely yourself instead because that only comes, you know, well, really remember the only ones who ever changed history were the ones who dared to listen and act on their own ideas, right? And they were judged and criticized as crazy at the time, all those crazy entrepreneurs. I'm sure people thought Thomas Edison was out of his gourd. Be independent, be bold, because that's where this is going to lead to. And the seventh house is relating partners, companionship, best friends, marriage, relationships, all of these things are coming into play. A lot of you guys in the next couple months have your soulmates coming in on a really big epic scale. And part of that is because like right here, you have um, a really good grasp on social awareness, what to say, where to go, who to motivate, um, get that team around you, get that family working with you, feeling good, but in a beautiful independent way, because the only person's acceptance that you need is your own. And that's really what's catapulting you into this arena of huge success. Now, another thing is part of your charm is you're, you're staying humble through all of this. It's like, you don't care. You're not someone who needs um, all these accolades. You remain yourself because like um, Jim Carrey was saying, and I said this for the last group, he says, you know, he wishes everybody could become rich and famous because then they realize what's really important. And it is those relationships that matter, that deep, rich understanding that you are a creative, beautiful, light being, and that you can have, do, and be anything you want whenever you want. So why were you restricting yourself in the first place? And that's just going to stop right away. You know, I feel like you're just going to feel everything that is meant for you. So your last card is expansion. Yeah. Spread your wings and soar. It's your time. Show the world what you have to offer. You know, let your light shine. People are going to be cheering for you. They've been waiting for this. You were that kid that people were like one day, Tom, Chris, Mary, Margaret, whomever, they are going to absolutely go out and just change the world. You know, that special something, you just had that charm and initiative and they see that and they, people are cheering for you like you like you wouldn't believe. And when you get on that first rung of success, it's like you just wanna carry everybody along with you. It's really wonderful. So I'm so excited for you, group three. That's beautiful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read. If you wanna to go to my Etsy store and see all my handcrafted goodies, I have my rings in there. I have everything in there and the beautiful Stonehenge crystals. Um, come see me on Instagram too. It's sparkwist11. I do daily posts and memes and I'm gonna be doing all kind of posts as soon as we get to um, Europe, we're, we're leaving on Valentine's Day and I'm all the castles everywhere we're going. I'm going to be doing fun stories on my Insta. So come and check that out as well. So love and light, you guys. Thank you so much for all your beautiful support. I couldn't do this without you. And I get so excited to do readings every day. I never tire of it. And I don't think I ever will. I don't think I've missed a day. And I'm just too, ex you know, it's exciting. It's a great way to be able to share and connect with you guys. So love and light.